Hi, I'm Janie, and this is Journey with Janie Hypnotherapy on YouTube. I'm coming to you right now during a time that I know is very difficult for many. Um, being here in the United States, um, I am certainly feeling the heaviness of the grief in our streets, and I'm also aware that countries around the world are standing in solidarity with us. We are clearly in a big moment that is asking us to open our eyes, open our hearts, not just to see, but also to hear. And to hear means to truly listen, to listen to the voices that are crying out in those streets. It's hard sometimes to see communication in ways that we've been taught and told is unacceptable. We've been taught and told to be polite, to be nice, to ask nicely. One of the first rules we learn when we're very, very young, ask nicely, say please, say thank you. But there comes a time when we become adults and we learn that life is sometimes unyielding in the way that it can truly bring us to our knees, that it can drive deep stakes into our hearts and and it can make us feel very very alone when our neighbors are not willing to hear our cries are not able to see our pain because they themselves are not experiencing it we all have different lenses that we look through and those lenses in some ways we can't always help i won't always be able to um, help that I see through a white person's lens or a woman's lens or someone who is privileged, who was raised in a middle-class neighborhood. But I also know that I can believe people when they tell me what they experience. I can believe the outcry. And it may not look as pretty or as nice or as polite as I might have been told from a very young age is the way to communicate, but I understand to the best that I can from my position how it must feel to have been begging for equality and justice and a simple respect of life for not just years, not just decades, but centuries, if not them, their mothers and fathers, if not their mothers and fathers, their grandparents, their great grandparents, and all the way down the line, that, that ancestral DNA that is still with them now, we all carry our ancestral DNA. And so that pain is with them, all of it, all of those many, 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 many years. And what is worse is that we have not had any accountability. There has never been a true apology, never once, not in this country. And so here we are, a perfect storm after months of a global pandemic, where we have been locked in our homes and people have lost jobs and lives have been lost to a gruesome virus, a novel virus that we still don't understand and don't have a grip on yet. And all of that created this perfect storm, the moment that a man, a man whose life mattered, George Floyd, was murdered in broad daylight on camera by the people that are meant to be protecting us. And they were meant to protect him and care about his life. And this is for George Floyd, and it is also for Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery and Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Sandra Bland. And the names go on and on and on. All of the names, all of the bodies, all of the lives, all of the brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and husbands and wives, cousins and friends. And so I tell you that I love each and every one of you.
that when you hear all lives matter, yes, they do. All lives matter and they have always mattered. We, when, when we put ourselves into that, white people want to know that their lives matter. And of course they do. They've always mattered. We've known that. We've never questioned that. Black lives. They've had that questioned again and again and shown over and over that so many believe that not to be true. And so it is okay to hold up their voices right now. It is okay to say that black lives matter because they do. And for a moment, center them, center their pain, their voice, their need, their outcry. They deserve it. They deserve to be at this moment right now, grieving in the streets as they are, as hard as it is to watch. This was coming. And so we are here to love our people of color through this, to hear them, to really, really hear them. So I ask you, because I know how many compassionate, open-hearted, open-minded people there are right here listening right now, I ask you to examine in your own life where you stand on this. Because if the first thing that you're thinking is about how it makes you feel and how uncomfortable you are to see the way that the message is being relayed in the streets, try to take that feeling, your feeling out for just a moment. If you are not of the black community, take that feeling out and simply just listen without judgment. Just listen. Really listen. Ask yourself what you can do how you can use your own privileges in life to help another, to rise up, lift their voice, give them an edge, give them a running start. Because we've always had that. And so I'm using this moment right now to do something I normally don't on my page, but this is about making sure that everyone who connects here with me knows that this is a safe space for all. And it's only safe if I can clearly say to you that I believe and know that Black Lives Matter. I believe and know that we, non-Black people, have work to do. That I'm doing that work every day. That I'm committing myself to doing it more and more. Because it's going to take all of us. So it's been a heavy year. It's been a real awakening for all of us in so many ways. What lessons we are being taught right now. Wow. But we're in this together. All right. So I'd like to guide you on a journey right now, a journey that will help you to just get out of your mind and, and just have a moment now to Come into a place of peace. Refuel, recharge so that you can be a better person, a better ally, a better neighbor, a better friend, a better family member, just better in every way as a human being because we need that more than ever. So let me help. Let me help to guide you right now into a place where you can feel the safety of this space I hold for you, where you can feel my love, where you can feel the love that is still here all around us. As much as we're seeing all of the heavy and the hard, all of that is in our face every day, everywhere we look, but there is also so much good and so much love and so much light. So let's lean into that together right now. Let's refuel, recharge, and then let's get out there and do the work together. And so my friends, Let us make sure that you are now in a very comfortable position and that your head, neck, and shoulders are well supported and well aligned. And as you follow my voice, know that I'm right here with you. We will get through this. I believe in all my heart that we are rising up, up, up. We are evolving. And as much as change is scary and confusing at times and hard to face, 
change is almost always very good and very right. We just need to trust. Trust that we are moving forward, that we, we are rising up, and we will be better together for it. So close your eyes. Everything's going to be okay. Let's close our eyes now. With your body in a very comfortable position, I want you just to listen to the sound of my voice. Know that this is a safe space for all. It's time to relax, release, and unwind. To move deeper and deeper into the body right now giving yourself permission to relax every inch of the body from the very top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. And with every breath, you allow my voice to guide you, guiding you to a deep stillness within. the most compassionate seed deep down inside. We're going to travel now, take this journey deep within, past all the layers of humanness, a journey all the way down to the depth of your soul. That place that knows only love, love of self, love of others, love of all. Layer by layer, let us travel deeper and deeper. We shall go. And you're safe each and every step of the way. Just breathe. Draw that breath in very slowly and hold it, hold it at the top of your head at five, four, Three, two, one, and let go at zero. Release that breath as it falls down slowly through the body, emptying the lungs and moving all the way through your feet and out. Just let go. Just let go. Good, very good. I'm right here with you. You're safe. You are seen. You are heard. You are loved. Take a deep breath and know this. As deep and as real as anything you've ever known. Know that you are loved. Let us journey back to that place where you will remember. Remember your worth. Feel that love. Breathe in in. And let it move you deeper into this moment of stillness. 
of being so very present right here, right now. And as you dive deeper and deeper into that pool of love, prepare to share it. Prepare to move it all around you. Spreading that love far and wide. In that love, let there be compassion. In that love, let there be understanding. Let there be the desire to want to understand. Let there be empathy, deep empathy for that which you may never experience yourself. But you listen to those who have and you love them through it. You help them through it. Breathe in and out deeply. Feel the transformation completely. It is with you. Transforming you with every breath. Every breath is your choice. Your choice to rise higher into vibrations of compassion. Higher vibrations of empathy. Higher vibrations of humanity and what we can all evolve to become when we choose it. Let us choose better. Let us dive deeper. Let us examine ourselves. our belief systems and make space for the empathy for others. And as you set the intentions now that all that you have heard shall be true, true for you, you are saying yes, yes to rising up, yes to doing better and being better and living better, living better for your greatest good and living better for your neighbor. Living better for a stranger, a fellow human you may know nothing about, but you care. You care about their life. They care about yours. Let us go deep into that place. For that is all there is, is love and compassion and deep, unending empathy. And breathe through your body, breathe through your body. 
and feel the rise and fall of your chest. And notice the way that the breath moves in and out of the lungs. And you may notice the sensations of your body changing. You may feel heavier now. There may be other parts of you that feel lighter, as if you're floating. It may happen all at once. Because this journey takes you to a place so much as possible, so much more than you know, so much more than you have remembered. Try to remember now, remember now of the power you hold. power to love so deep, so big, the power to transform and rise up and be the greatest version of yourself yet. And so I'd like you to take this journey even deeper with me now. journey even deeper into the subconscious mind, relaxing, releasing, and unwinding. I'm going to count you down now, a slow, gentle count. Counting you from twenty to zero. Each count taking you deeper and deeper as you just let go. Just let. Follow my voice on each count of twenty and allow me to help clear your mind, clear your mind. Twenty is ninety. Sink deeper and deeper. Relax further now. All the way. At eighty, drift, draw, and let go, let go, seventeen, sink, sink into a pool of Warm and gentle, so much love. At sixteen, very good. Such a wonderful feeling. At fifteen, it feels so good to be in that love deep within. To feel the healing and peaceful and calming energies so much, so much love. 
enough to spread all around, to use your love to heal the world. We need you. We need you. Sixteen is fifteen, drifting and dropping, and fourteen, follow my Sink in deeper and deeper. Thirteen. Compassion. Compassion. You care. You truly and deeply care. You care. And it feels so good to care. In the way you want all people to care about you. And you deserve to be cared about. And it feels good to care about others in that way. We care. Eleven is the empathy in the angel number. Deep empathy. A desire to want to understand. To do your best to understand what others are experiencing in this world. What others are feeling in this world. Empathy in the angel number. Let us feel it from you. Let us receive it from you. And we return it right back to you. Empathy. Deep empathy. Ten. Sink. At night. Just let go. Just let go. Let go of what you thought you knew. Let go of any and all that holds you back. Let it go. Break the chains and rise up. We are all evolving. Learning together. We are in balance when we work together. At eight is that balance when we work together. We work together. Seven. Sink in. All the way in. Sink in. All the way in. Six. And drop, drift, and drop. At five, at five, letting go, letting go. Follow my voice, dropping even deeper and deeper and deeper. Good. Five is four, drop. Three is two. Peace and love. Peace and love at one is zero. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Drift to sleep. Drift to sleep with peace and love. Peace and love. Sleep. Sleep. Take wonderful care. Sending all my love. And I hold in my heart the hope that you send all of your love in every direction. We 
are in this together. Sleep well. I take wonderful care of you. And until next time, continue to journey with